10 Things You Didn't Know About the 2021 Jaguar E-Pace Jaguar has been looking to outdo itself by coming up with models that have something extra. In 2018, it introduced its first electric car, the Jaguar I-Pace. Still, the company does not want to differentiate its brands by making some electric while the others are purely SUV. It plans to make its cars, model by model, electrified. With the 2021 Jaguar E-Pace being under development a lot of speculations have been made as to what we should expect. Read on to find out what investigations show, including if the car will be electric or not. 1. Its arrival date. If you have an unexplainable desire to add a Jaguar to other prized possessions in your garage, you will have to wait until later this year. According to CarBuzz, the refreshed car is expected to debut in late 2020, but it will not go on sale until 2021 hence the name of the model. 2021 Jaguar E-Pace. It will join new cars such as the Alfa Romeo Tonali, Fiat 500 Electric and Aston Martin Valhalla among others that are also scheduled to go on sale in 2021. 2. It is supposed to give the Jaguar E-Pace brand higher sales. Every entrepreneur hopes to increase their sales with each product, and since the Jaguar E-Pace model was reportedly the best-selling car in the United Kingdom, the firm trusts that it can boost such sales with a few changes to the vehicle. The sales boom saw the firm's full-year sales go up by 20%, it sold 11,142 e-pace cars from April 2018 to April 2019. However, in the United States, the sales figures were not as impressive, and with this new model, the company is looking to have a car that sits well with every consumer around the globe thus facilitate higher sales. 3. Its price. In the end, regardless of how good the changes are to meet the consumer's expectations, the price is what will determine how many units will be sold. The 2020 Jaguar E-Pace usually goes for $39,950, an amount that has been described as one of the highest in the subcompact SUV luxurious brands. That being said, the changes will come at an extra cost, and you can, therefore, expect it to buy it at a much higher price. 4. Changes in the interior. Currently, there are barely any pictures that have surfaced showing what the interior of the 2021 Jaguar E-Pace. However, that does not mean that speculations are not being floated around, according to Auto Express, we should expect a Touch Pro Duo infotainment system comprising a 10.2-inch central screen as well as a display for the car's air conditioning and heating systems. If that is true, then the change to the touch screen will only be of a 0.2-inch since the 2020 E-Pace has a 10-inch screen. Other sources believe you should not expect as many changes to the interior as what was done to the 2019 XE Saloon. 5. It will most likely be the last facelift Jaguar to be released this year. Although it has already been established that 2021 Jaguar E-Pace will be released later this year, it is expected that it will be the last among other facelifts also announced to debut later in 2020. The F-Pace was also announced to have a refreshed look that will go on sale either late this year or early 2021. Since the F-Pace premiered in July 2015, it makes sense for it to go on sale before the E-Pace that came out in July 2017. The same goes for the XE which was launched in 2014. It is also undergoing a facelift in preparation for a release later in 2020. 6. It will have plug-in hybrid power. Autocar believes that we should not expect any changes to the engine range reasoning that the current makes of two diesel and two four-wheel drive petrol are not old enough to warrant any tweaks. Other sources are contradicting this opinion saying that for the first time, this E-Pace model will have plug-in hybrid technology. Whatever the case, we only have a few months to go to confirm who is right. 7. It will not have many changes on its exterior. Most sources opine that with the crossover model being reasonably new, it will not make any sense to change its exterior a lot. Therefore most of the tweaks will be mostly in the front and back, without necessarily overhauling its outside. The spy photos confirm that it has updated front and rear fascia, the tail lights have not been changed, but the internals to the headlights have. The front bumper is different while the car will have a new grille. The rear bumper might also be updated as the prototype continues to be revised. 8. What will enable it to accept electrified powertrains? The 2021 Jaguar E-Pace will boast of accommodating plug-in and mild hybrid powertrains for the first time, but that would not be possible without the technical changes that it will undergo inside. It has been reported that the new model will apply Jaguar Land Rover's PDA, Premium Transverse Architecture, which is an upgrade of the D8 platform that can be used for electrified, mild hybrid and ICE internal combustion engine, powertrains. For this reason, that platform will allow the new model to accept electrified powertrains. 9. The importance of incorporating the Jaguar Land Rover's PDA. 
The need for mild hybrid technology may not be significant to the U.S. consumers who are yet to deal with carbon emission reduction. Still, in the European market, it is necessary. Although the U.S. ranked third in carbon dioxide emission per capita in 2016, it has not put measures to reduce such emissions by cars that use gas. However, in the European market, new emission targets will soon be out, and the best strategy that car manufacturers can do is to install mild hybrid technology in their vehicles. It is, therefore, crucial to start implementing such technologies today since Denmark is calling for the European Union to ban cars that use gas or diesel as fuel. 10. It will save on fuel. According to Motor Authority, the 2.0-liter turbocharged engine with a belt-driven motor generator is not designed to add power. Instead, the generator is for recovering energy spent during braking and also enable coasting when the engine is switched off thus saving on fuel.